Insert the drilling jig and tighten the nut. When the center pin has freedom of movement in the front casing hole, tighten the nut of the drilling jig. Make sure that the jig is aligned with the housing hole. Otherwise the starter generator may be damaged during the drilling and must then be replaced. Place a 12mm drill bit in the drilling jig and operate the drill when the drill bit protrudes from the jig. Drill out the hole carefully and make sure that the drill doesn't jam. Only unpack the starter generator when you've removed all the drill shavings. Remove the drill jig from the starter generator. And then you can take off the plastic and the tape. Now you can install the new bearing. Place the 12mm guide bushing from the part set into the front housing borehole. To do this use an appropriate screw, a nut and a washer. The bushing must be fitted flush. Remove the bolt, nut and washer. Now using a caliper, measure the total length of the outer flange sleeve with the internal threads and the inner flange adapter and write down the value. Then measure the distance between the guide bushing and the rear housing borehole. Calculate the difference between the two values and determine which spaces you need using the information contained in this instruction table. Measure which spaces you need and then slide them onto the guide bushing. Attach the guide bushing with the spacers on the rear housing borehole and attach them using a suitable bolt, nut and washers. Then measure the distance between the two pressed bushings. Again, calculate the difference. The bearing clearance must be within the tolerance of 0.1 to 0.5 millimeters. If everything is okay, then tighten the belt tensioner with 28 newton meters of torque. Glue the outer collared bushing with the internal thread in the timing case. Clean the collared bushing thoroughly before applying the adhesive. Also put on the appropriate gloves. Then apply the glue on the collared bushing.
Place the collared bushing in the front of the timing cover. Now attach the inner collared bushing. Don't use any glue for this. Don't forget to change your gloves. And the work goggles are no longer needed. You can now reinstall the starter generator. Then lead in the bearing body from the rear. Tighten it with 22 newton meters. Instead of putting on a screw, place the cover included in the set on the outside. The rest of the installation is done in the reverse order. And remember to install a new poly V-belt.